well so it's been a very long time since i have braved the camera to do a makeup tutorial i mean it's very rare that you get to see me with no eyelashes on and no makeup i cringe a little bit at it it's been so long and everything's well not everything but a lot of things have changed my products have changed skincare routines probably changed so i thought i'd share it all with you so i hope you enjoy it embrace the bare face <laughs> to begin with we're going in completely fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, my eyebrows, I dye them. I use, oh, I can't remember. I'll have to link it below. But I use also Maybelline Tattoo Brow and you put it on for like 10 minutes and then you peel it off and it lasts for like four days, which is dreamy. I still fill them in. Um, but it makes my hairs that are really blonde um, brown. <laughs> Shock. So... I've basically been using a few different moisturisers. One's been the Kiehl's moisturiser. One has been E45, which is random, I think. But it's made such a difference. I can't believe how much of a difference it's actually made. It's insane. So I've been using that just all over my face. I haven't even been using a primer sometimes. Just literally E45 and then makeup over the top and just take my makeup off every single night, um, if I remember. And... Um, it just makes a complete difference. I'm sorry if this keeps going dark, by the way. I've got that open behind me, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So, um, I have been using for the last couple of days this Tropic moisturiser. It's just a little tester thing, I think. Somebody gave me it a gig, which is really cute. But I absolutely love it. I used to use the Tropic cleanser to take my makeup off with a flannel. It smells amazing. I think it's all natural stuff. And I basically just need to invest into it and get loads of it. Um, but I've got so much stuff, I just need to use that up first before I invest. So I just get a little bit of this, pop it all over. Also, I found this amazing, oh, it keeps going dark, mate. I found this amazing facial tanner, like a clear spray that you just spritz over your face, changes your life. Do not use it on your body though, I tried to use it on my body and it was an absolute disaster. So just use it on your face and just give it a good couple of sprays over. So that's the moisturiser done. Then I go in with this little deck, this little testers, look like a right cheapskate. <laughs> this is a little Declior, is that how you pronounce it? Intense Glow for Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. Well, if you follow me on Instagram, Sam Harvey UK, you will see I had a horrible, horrible human say to me the other day that I need to drink more water because I've got really bad dark circles. Now I've suffered with this for a long time. And I sleep good, I get a good amount of sleep, I sometimes nap in the day. My hands are really dark by the way because I have fake tanned them. So I will wash it off tonight. I'll share with you the fake tan. So, I've been using for the last few weeks this um, Velvety Rose and Caramel Deep and Dark Olive Toned Tanning Mousse. That is a mouthful. This one here. Now I leave it on for like eight hours. I normally do mine in the morning, so then I leave it on all day and then shower it off before bed because otherwise my sheets get all brown and I can't be asked. So I do that. And this is the Rose and Caramel. This isn't sponsored by the way, but it was gifted. Um, the Rose and Caramel Nudity Spray. So it's clear and you literally just go, I can't do it now because I've got to put makeup on. Done. Your face goes brown in like eight hours. So absolutely love that i do find that when i use a, a normal fake tan on my face it just goes but that will stay on for like four days so without makeup on my skin will still look brown right so we've done the moisturizer the dark circle thing which i just pat in and then i haven't really been using a primer recently which is naughty i haven't found that it's made a massive difference so um i've got this one in my locker which is amazing and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. I just take a tiny little bit of that, pat it round. But I don't feel like primer's essential, but I'm not a makeup artist, but just for my skin, I don't think that it's like a huge deal, do you know what I mean? Everybody always asks me, what foundation do you use? What foundation do you use? What foundation do you use? I'm not gonna lie, this camera makes you look better than, like makes your skin look smoother, a lot smoother than it is. It's just what the camera does. Um, but I have to admit that this foundation, I've used it probably for about five years now, and it's insane. So it's Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is in the shade Ivory Beige, and I do find that I have to mix it with a lighter color foundation, but I think a lot of people do. 
if I fake tan my face very heavily, this will be fine. Bourgeois Healthy Mix. And I just mix these together. And then on my lazy days, I've also been using this Hourglass Foundation Stick. I'm not being funny. If you can't be asked to faff around with like liquidy foundation, this just goes on and you rub it in. You can do your foundation in like a minute. It's insane. That's why it's nearly gone and I need to get another one. But love that. What shade's this in? Warm Ivory. That's one of my favourites. Um, and I get my brush, which I swear is from Primark. <laughs> Washed all my brushes the other day for the first time in about six months because I'm a skank. And uh, yeah, they, they, uh, they work much better. So I'd recommend you wash your brushes. So I'll put it on the back of my hand. Just mix it together. It looks a bit dark, actually. I just... Uh, Blend it all together till it looks like an okay colour. Just start putting it on with a brush. I can see my neighbour cleaning his windows. Oh my god, I bet he can see him. Can you? I don't know if you can see him in this video. So funny, I just looked outside and I'm in my Calvin Klein bra as well. So I always blend it down to my neck. <laughs> I keep seeing him now in the corner of my eye. Out the window, so funny. I'm not used to having neighbours so close. I can see into your windows all the time. So that's pretty much the foundation base done, right? I'll go right up to my hairline. I use simple face wipes. Just get one of these and remove that excess from my hand. So I get the Bourjois Ivory, put that under my eyes. And also I sometimes mix it in with this um, for a bit more full coverage. I know it seems extra, but it's Naked, naked Skin Urban Decay in a light warm, but I definitely would get a lighter colour in this next time. I feel like it is a bit dark. I normally put it down my nose a little bit. Maybe up there, there. I also then get a damp beauty blender, which I damped, damped, which I dampened earlier. And just then dab that in. This is a Real Techniques beauty blender, by the way. I find that no other beauty blender compares to this one. Tap that all in. Also, I sometimes do my eyebrows before I do all my foundation and stuff. I just completely forgot today. So we're going to do eyebrows next. So I pat all that in. And then with another beauty blender, which is just a little cheapy one, I get RCMA No Colour Powder. This is really cheap, I think. I use this for my translucent powder to set my under eyes so they don't crease or anything. I just get it on my beauty blender. Just pop it underneath there like that. Next, eyebrows. I have had this for about a year and a half. It's probably out of date, but I've probably still got about another three years use out of it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in chocolate. And I bought this as well to go with it. I think you can get this online. It's not in the shops over here yet, I don't think, is it? I don't know. Um, and I just fill it in. What does that look like on camera? Sometimes it looks different on camera to what it looks like in the mirror. But I go over it in a minute with concealer anyway, so. Right, let's go in. This one's a bloody dodgy eyebrow, I tell you now. Oh, this one looks a bit dodgy. There we go. Okay, so then I get, we're gonna use the Urban Decay Concealer, go in with that one again. Just put a tiny bit of it on the top and underneath. Oh, that's a lot. Top, <laughs> oh, a lot underneath. Then I get a little brush, can't remember where this was from, but they're all the same, you know? Um, and just go, make a straight line on top and just carve those brows in. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
happy to pluck these ones at the end, I'm not going to lie, getting a bit mental. Also, you can use any excess just to go over your eyelid. And I do find also the Beauty Blender, if you need to, is really good for just going round and like blending all of your foundation in. I'm not very creative on eyeshadow and that is one thing that I want to learn. It's be really good and like learn how to do good cut creases and stuff like that. I'd love to be able to do that. Yeah, and if I've got too much product, I just blend in with the Beauty Blender and hopefully you'll never know. You'll never know any different. Okay. Contour. I use L'Oreal Infallible. Yeah, can't read it because it's rubbed off. But um, this little stick here, it's a dream. Use it every day. Now I've got to be careful to do this straight down my nose because otherwise it will actually do the opposite of what I'm trying to achieve. <laughs> Put a bit of that on the forehead. Now I'll get my little Real Techniques brush. I'll do it along my jaw to make myself look like I've got a stronger jawline than I have. Even though everyone's so lovely on all my videos, they're like, have you had your jaw filled? I'm like, no. It's just a bit of contour. And chewing chewing gum. I swear I chew chewing gum all the time and it probably strengthens my jaw. <laughs> Right, my nose is a bit of a mess for now, but we'll sort that out in a sec. You have to go in with a light contour, you know? So this camera that I've got films for about seven minutes and then it shuts down and says internal temperature too high and it winds me up every single time. And I emailed Sony and I was like, I haven't even got any lights that are hot behind it. And um, it says internal temperature too high. They were like, yeah, it's just part of the camera. I was like, mm -hmm, okay then bloody annoying. I thought it was just like a fault on my last one um, and then I dropped it and broke it and took it to the the camera repair people which I actually still need to pick it up and it costs more to repair it from dropping it than it does to buy a new one so I bought a new one and it does exactly the same thing, internal temperature too high Are you actually trying to mug me off? Um, so I can't ever film anything really long so I have to take a little break and uh, come back to it when it's cooled down, so fingers crossed it has. Okay, so now I'm using the L'Oreal bronzer. Um, the lid's actually come off. So it's bronzing powder, but it looks like this. I'm gonna just go over where I use the L'Oreal stick, contour stick. I also go down my nose, and then I get this W7 contour stick, which lasts me ages too. Pop this down the centre of my nose and just the sides and then blend that in then I get the RCMA powder from before and I just, and I just go in Put a line under there, like that, leave it on for a minute. Okay, and then I take this powder, pop it down the sides where I did the light contour of my nose, and that just sets that in there then. So I'm all powdered up. Whilst that is baking, I will then do my eyelashes, I think. So these eyelashes are pre-trimmed, because I tried them for my night out the other night. Um, link everything in the description below. I use this lash glue um, which was gifted to me by Pinky Goat and it's black lash adhesive and I think it's amazing. I'll just pop a little layer of this along the top. Right, this is for the right eye. So then I just put a bit of glue on there, leave it to sit so that it gets a bit sticky. Whilst I'm sticking my eyelashes on, um, I use this little full lips thing which makes my lips swell up basically for a few hours um, but I find that doing it every day has made my lips grow a little bit. So I'm going to do this whilst I stick my eyelashes on, okay?
Okay, it's like a lip filler job, but it only lasts for an hour. Okay, so then I take my brush and I brush off all the excess powder that we had. Just blend it in. Also, once the glue's dried, this is black, so normally I don't get anything, but if you use white and then you can see where you've stuck it down, just get a bit of liquid eyeliner or pencil black eyeliner, just go over the top of it, and then you can't even see where it joins. I'm sure everyone knows that, but... You know, my cousin asked me if you put um, translucent powder underneath your foundation yesterday, so I thought, girl, I need to do you a tutorial. Um... Okay, so once I've brushed that off, I use Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer Setting Spray. This is incredible. Whack this all over my face. <sighs> Dry it off. Highlight is the next step. Goddess of Love Triple Baked Highlighter. Everybody always asks me in my videos what highlighter do you use. This is the one I think I might have even used this years ago on my other tutorial. Still use it now. Can't find anything that's better. Um, get this on my little Real Techniques brush. Put a teeny weeny bit on the end of my nose. And up that little bit that we contoured with a lighter colour. Put a little bit on top of my cheeks. And then if it's way too much, which it usually is, I just blend it in with my finger. So you can still see it. But it's not like, whoa, she's got highlighter on. Put it on my top lip. A little bit. Oh, Christ, that's a lot. Uh, under my eyebrows. And then the last step is going to be lip liner and lipstick. Lip liner is my best friend. I just don't know where I'd be without it. Well, I'd be lipless, to be honest. Um, everyone says, have you had your lips done? No, it's literally... Lip liner. You can make yourself look like you've had your lips done with lip liner, okay? It's just all about the blend. So I overline my lips slightly. Oh, sorry, this lip liner, I forgot to tell you. This lip liner is the Revlon Colour Stay lip liner in colour nude, but it's quite brown, what you can see. One of the best I've found. Stays on for ages. It's grey and it's cheap, I think. Okay, so then I do a little line here, here, yeah. and do one here, one here, boom. Okay, then I get two different lipsticks. This seems like a lot, but once you blend it all in, that gives you the effect of having massive lips. So, um, MUA Lux, this is in hashtag 12. I put this on the outer corners. You can use this all over, but I've found that this technique is quite nice. I look mental, just bear with. Then I get another one. This is Gosh uh, Matte Baby Lips. Put this in the middle. I just like using a lighter colour one in the middle. So with the NYX Athens, I go on the outside and blend in that lip liner. Ah, oh, my neighbours are having a lovely chat across the fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I blended it with that one, and then I go in with, I don't even know where this is from, if anyone recognises this brand, please comment below. I need to look it up on Boots or Superdrug and see where it's from, but this is like, unreal. Don't even know what colour it's in, so I'll find out for you guys, but this is a lighter pink, and I just put that in the middle. And blend it in. So it looks like a bit of a mess at the moment, but I just get my trusty finger <laughs> and blend it in. And then let that dry matte. Um, sometimes if I want a little bit of like a gloss over the top or so they don't dry out and go a bit cracked, I do use this, um, is this sometimes over the top. This is Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. Um, so this goes with the lip liner. And that is pretty much everything. Um, my hair, I've just had a new weave put in by Unbelievable Hair. She's bringing out a fake tan soon and I can't wait to trial it. I'm going to be one of the first to trial it. So I have a feeling it's going to be amazing because everything that she does is incredible. Um, it's so long, I can't stand up because I'm just in my knickers, but um, 
it's really long and I love it and you should definitely hit her up. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the next video that I need to film is how I film my covers and edit them, what equipment I use, etc. So look out for that one. And I'll put everything in the description below of what I've used and where it's all from and stuff like that. So have an amazing evening. Thanks for your love and support. Take care.